Hey everyone, it's Owen. Welcome to episode 14 of my Driver's Tutorial Series. And in this episode, we're going to be going over, going over ASCII and more on the character variable. So, I want to start out by telling you that um, both the string and the character variable cannot be um, stored into each other. So if you see right there, that if I compile it, um, you can see incompatible types. It can't be stored into each other, um, and vice versa. So that's just something quickly that I want to address um, that you can't do. So, uh, but something that I do want uh, want to show, which is legal, it's kind of surprisingly legal actually. But let's um, do that backwards. Now, if I come down here and I make an int i, and I'll just do int i equals uh, ch, and I'm going to change this. Sorry, it should have actually been like that before, but it, it still wouldn't work, but uh, I'm going to com compile this, and you can see that this does work. Now, the reason this works is because when you're when I'm assigning the character value, or the character ch, the value of s, it's actually giving it um, a a numerical value, and that's what ASCII is. It's um, all numbers, all symbols, and all letters, and everything are actually being stored as a number. So, um, sorry, I'm not. I don't. I'm going to use A because I think it's a better example. But um, for example, the numerical value for A is uh, 65, I believe, uh, capital A. Yeah, that is. Um, there's also lowercase A's, and they do have different values, by the way. But uh, that's just something I want to go over quickly. So you know, if I were to let's see, come down here, print this out. Um, actually, I. you can see it prints out 65 instead and that's because like I said A is assigned that value um, I'm not going to go through what the, the actual ASCII character table or anything because there's um, tons of ones for buttons or, or for like things on your keyboard and you know all sorts of things so google those if you ever need them um, I can't possibly go over all of them right now but um, something that is illegal though would be um, pretty much the opposite of this. If I take, uh, let's see, if I move character underneath here, and I give int i a value of 6 or something, and then I make this equal to i, and I try to compile that, you can see this won't work because um, a character value, uh, a character cannot be assigned the value, it cannot be assigned an integer as a value. Um, but, you know, keep in mind, it is possible vice versa to do this because of the numerical value, the ASCII value that it has. And um, I'm just going to point out right now, for those of you that don't know what I'm saying, it's ASCII, it's A-S-E-I-I, -I, and it's actually pronounced ASCII and spoken that way. Um, it's just a, a storing system for numbers and values and you know, or numbers, letters, all these things it stores them in numerical values. So, other than this, I want to talk about um, uh, how to convert. Because, like I said earlier, you cannot store a string and a character into each other. However, you, there are ways to convert those and uh, get around them. So, I'm going to start out by converting a, uh, a string into a character. And I actually did this in an earlier video. Um, however, we did not go over it very much. So I'm going to start here. I'm just going to replace this line with string s equals, I'm just going to use h for now. Continue to use that. And then it's going to be character ch, and it's going to be, um, sorry, s dot character at, and then 0. Now if I compile this, oh, sorry, I'm still using i here. Let's print out ch. You can see that that compiles, and when I come down here and I print it out, I will get H. So that is a simple way to do uh, a string into a character. Um, now, to do it vice versa, however, it is actually even easier. Um, I'm just going to copy this. Let's see, delete that. Come down here and paste. Um, it's very simple. All you need is to concatenate um, a some quotation marks and the character, which in this case is going to be ch. And then of course I want to change this. Um, we'll do a... So if I compile this, 
and I come back, run it, it's going to print out the capital A. Now, I um, notice, like I, I said before, um, it has a numerical value, and you might be wondering why it's not printing out 65, uh, and instead it's printing out A. And the reason is, um, it, it kind of depends on what you want to store it in. So, as you can see here, I have it stored into a string, and Java knows that um, a string, of course, isn't going to have a uh, numerical value unless it's simply, you know, you want that inside your quotation marks or something. But the val actual value itself is not going to be a number. Um, however, if I were to do it in an integer, it knows that the integer has to have a numerical value. So it uses uh, 65 in that. Yeah, so that's just a quick, simple explanation. Um, so the two last things that I'd like to talk about are converting um, your character to uppercase or lowercase, and those are pretty simple. All you have to do, um, I'm going to have character ch, and, oh, whoops, and then I'm going to come down here and make a new character, and I'm going to name this character c, and uh, the, the method that I'm going to do is character, all capitalized, now this isn't going to change, and then dot to uppercase, which you did see in the, um, I think lesson four that I had, episode four that I had, or something like that. Um, and then I'm going to put the name of my previous string, and that is ch. Now if I compile this, um, run our code, and it's, well, it's already in uppercase here. I'll use the lowercase so we can actually see the difference here. There we go. So it goes to lowercase now, or it goes to, it did not go to lowercase. C, the H, that's why I'm printing out CH, sorry. Um, run it again, and finally we get uppercase. So, um, that's to uppercase, of course, to lowercase. Same thing, except you replace upper with lower. And it's just going to, here, I'll make this uppercase, compile it, come back here, run it, and you can see it got converted to lowercase. So, that's all I want to talk about with the ASCII and the character vari variable in these videos. Um, we may go over some later, but um, this should be enough to get you off and onto your way for now. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.